Hello guys, welcome back to another PriceyP Roblox Studio tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to build 3D objects inside Roblox Studio. Here inside my workspace, you can see I have a cylinder and I have a ball. To build 3D objects, you're going to want to go to your model menu tab. We're going to be working with these options in here inside solid modeling section. First thing we want to look at is union. So here I'm going to take my cylinder, I'm going to put it inside the ball and just make sure your collision is off. I'm going to move this part up and over and I'm going to put it down inside the ball. Maybe I need to move it the other way a little bit. Let me take a look. Okay, I need to move it back a little bit and now it's inside the ball. Alright, so I still have the cylinder and the ball. I'm going to select both the cylinder and the ball and I'm going to click on union to fuse the two parts together. So now you see I no longer have a cylinder and a ball but I have a part here called union which is this part right here. See if I select union it is this part right here which consists of the two parts being fused together. And now if I press play you're going to see that they both, they're, they're one object, they're, they're, they're staying together because they have been fused together into one single object. Now how do you separate them if you want to undo it? To undo it, you would select the, the union part and you go up here and click on separate. Now you have the ball and the cylinder again and if you play again, they're going to fall apart. And there you see it, they have fallen apart. All right, so that's basically how you use union and separate. The next thing we wanna look at is negate. So basically you use negate to hollow out a part. So let me just select the cylinder here. I'm gonna bring it up and I'm gonna scale it. I wanna make it a little bit bigger. So I'm gonna press shift and I'm just gonna pull a circle here and now we're gonna move it back into the ball. All right, so this is gonna make a big hole inside the ball. Now to hollow out the ball, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select my cylinder here and I'm gonna click on negate. That has turned my cylinder into a negative part. The negative part is gonna hollow out the regular part. So my regular part is gonna be the ball I'm going to now select both the negative part and the ball, which is the regular part, and I'm going to union them together. And immediately you see that the, um, the ball has been hollowed out by the cylinder and the cylinder is no longer there. Let's play and take a look. And there is the ball with, the, with a little hole in it because that's the, uh, where the cylinder used to be and now it's no longer there, it just makes a little hole inside the, uh, the part. Again, so that's how you hollow out the part. Next, let's go back to Studio and let's take a look at some scripts. Let's now go to our union part, which is our ball with the, uh, the hole in it. We're going to click on the plus sign and we're going to add a script. And first, let's declare our ball. Or maybe, you know what? Let, let me first rename this to make it simpler. I'm gonna turn it into an olive. So I named this olive. All right, so first we're gonna declare a local variable to reference to our olive. So we're gonna say local. Let's call it olive equals to script dot parent. So now olive is our olive here. We're going to come down here. We're going to wait for 10 seconds. And then I want to change the color of my part. So my part right now is blue with red inside. I want to make it green so that it looks like an olive, right? So um, we're going to say olive dot brick color. We'll set it equals to brick color dot green. Now if you try this, you're going to find out it's not going to work. 
because our Aleph is a union. So in order to change the brick color of a union, there, there is a property down here that you need to turn on. And the property's name is called use part color. So if you check this box, if you turn this on, it's gonna use whatever part color here for, for the union, right? So we need to check that box inside our script. So here, before we change the color of the, um, the olive, we're gonna have to turn that on. We're gonna say olive use part color equals to true. And now we can change the color of our union. And let's just add one more thing just for fun. We're gonna say wait for maybe five seconds. And then I want to lift up my part into the air. In order to do that, if you look at your part right now, you can see that the part is not anchored. So I want to anchor that part first. So I want to say olive dart anchor equals to true. And now we can lift it up into the air. We're going to say olive dart position plus equal to a vector three dot new zero comma one comma zero all right so that's gonna lift it up by one unit into the air we want to put this inside a while loop so we're gonna say or maybe inside a for loop would be easier so we're gonna say for i equals to one comma 15 let's say do and I'm just going to move this inside the for loop. Cut and paste. So we're going to anchor the part. We're going to move it up in the air 15 times. And each time, let's give it slow down the loop a little bit. So we're going to wait for 0.5 of a second. Let's now play and take a look. So there is my olive. It's blue right now. And it is not anchored yet. Now it's green, it's still moving. Give it, I think, five seconds. And now it's anchored and it's moving up into the air. Everyone, that's how you build 3D models inside Roblox Studio. Thank you for watching. We'll see you again soon. Take care.